we come back from practice, we rap every day. Mm. Like we just get home, turn on speaker, music, food, chilling, TV, rap. Mm -hmm. And then I realized it wasn't just about like rapping. It was more just about like creating and sounds and what you want to hear. Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching Kids Take Over right now. Vancouver, Canada, all the way to Memphis. I'm with my guy, Jaren. Yo. How's it going, bro? Bro, it's crazy because um, in an alternate reality, you could be playing for my hometown. Because I'm from Vancouver. <laughs> and you, you know the history, bro. Yeah. I mean, in a weird way, I could. Um, you know, go Raptors on, in, your, in your world, not my world. Yeah. But I mean... Y'all won recently, so. Yeah, no, but I'm talking about, like, Vancouver Grizzlies could have been a thing. Bro. Oh, even that. Oh, yeah. well, you know, we, we do better over here. I like our jerseys, though. Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys are hard. Best jerseys ever. Like, the green, the teal is, like, Yeah. I can't even. I always want to buy, like, a bunch so I can give my friends, like, the white version, black version, and the teal version. The but, teal like, version, bro. Bro, the league doesn't let us, like, wear them all the time. Like, they kind of have, like, a schedule, and mm. it, it sucks. Like, because if I could pick, I wear them all the time. Bro. And, the, and when you guys do the court, too, like, it looks amazing, Yeah, right? the, the little retro court. Yeah, yeah, every time I'm in 2K, I just I switch to that one. It's fire. Time. Oh, my God, it's fire. Bro, how did you uh, how did you even hear about us? So I'm, like, so curious about that. I mean, when we be at the crib, I'm usually at the crib with my homies, and we throw on YouTube all the time. And, I mean, we watch interviews from Kanye to all types of people, like artists, basketball players yeah. so i think i ran across one of your vids one time i forget which i think it was might have been fago okay yeah and that was when i was trying to like hunt on stuff for so fago because I, I was trying to figure out who he was yeah and then you was like talking to him i think that was like one of his only ones out at the time i just thought it was fire I, like i mean trust me i do interviews a lot and i, I could tell like when i'm getting asked stuff that i don't want to like ask you you like ask like the right stuff or I whatever that, like bro. you ask you ask like fire stuff hell so, yeah you know? off the bat though i'm gonna ask you a question uh right off the bat because you the music taste that you have bro is not the same as your yeah. average nba player and i'm I, seeing yeah. i'm seeing yeah and i fuck with that so <laughs> your top five artists right now from the new generation in the past let's say like four to five years mm. Just based off who you listen to most, not just like just based on who I yeah. yeah like who I bump. Cause I mean, look, there's worlds, there's worlds, and there's different music for different vibes too. Everything's branched from Cardi. Yeah. There you go. You know how people say like Thug and everything's branched from him. Well, there's a whole world of that, but like Cardi, and then Yeet, Can, um, Uno the Activist, doing it for a while, been doing it. A lot of shit branched through him too. So, yeah. and then I used to, I was in school in Detroit. Baby Smooth was like mm. what I listened to and all the time, like still to this day, listen to all the time. Like I have a full playlist of just him. Mm. And now that's my homie. Like I, I got to meet him like years ago. The way, what he's doing, he's always been like kind of like on his own, on his own shit. And he's mm. always been elite. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say that for now. That was five, right? Yeah, that was five. And it's crazy you said Uno. Not many people will acknowledge that, you know? But if you're a real fan, like, of that type of music, then you know. Yeah. But how did you even get, like, interested into this new wave of music? Because I feel like there's other people that are your age, which, by the way, we're the same age. I cannot believe that. But there's people... You're 22? I'm 22, yeah. <laughs> well, I look older or younger? Because I get that I look older. You look older, but not, like, crazy. Yeah. It's more of a vibe that you're 22, though, bro. If you was, like, way older, it'd probably be not as much of a vibe. It wouldn't be that cool, yeah. No, I feel that. I mean, how did you get into it, though? I'm curious. Like, people that are your age in the NBA probably don't listen to the same thing. Like, Wayne was who I really first started listening to. Mm. And probably after that, after Wayne, I just, I loved people who took bullets. Like Thug, he took bullets for like all the stuff he was doing. I'm like, dude, this guy is gonna be huge. If everybody's on him like this and he's doing something so unique, mm. he's gonna be crazy. And mm. like, he just ended up being crazy. Same thing with Cardi. Yeah. And Uzi, like I remember hearing Uzi in like high school art class, mm. 7 a.m. I was hearing that and then Lover's mm. Rage drops. And uh, from there, I mean, yeah. go status. Like, like I don't even have to bring him up on some like, he's just, He's just Uzi? ridiculous. Yeah, he's ridiculous. He's yeah. insane. So I don't I can't even explain to you why my music tastes is the way it is. Yeah. 
I think I just like swag. And it goes into clothes. Mm. Like Rocky, I like Rocky. But I also listen to like Joey Badass. Yeah. That's fire that you said Lil Wayne though, because I'm the same way where like my brother actually put me onto music when I was little. And although I'm 22, I would listen to like 50 Cent, G Unit, mm. Lupe Fiasco, Lil Wayne. Lupe. Yeah, Lupe Fire. That bro. kick push and all that. Yeah. Bro, kick push. And then, uh, yeah, and then when you hear the newer generation rap, it's like a lot of people will kind of knock one and love the other, but it's like, bro, you can love both, man. You know, you liking all those things, right? I'm, I'm gonna hit you with a heavy question right now. What's your top five albums ever? Hip hop, hip hop. Mm. Um, 1999, Joey Badass. Okay. Faces, Mac, Miller. Okay. Um, <laughs> it is a heavy question. I know. I Die know. Lit. Okay, I would agree on that. Ooh. Drip season three. Okay, that's four. <laughs> I mean, damn, you know, but like probably. Oh, I probably, thought you said damn by Kendrick Lamar. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, you know, on some, too. He, he's great. He's great in his yeah. own way. Like, yeah. For everything that Juice World didn't release. Mm, his unreleased catalog. I'm just going to call that an album. Everything right. that Juice World didn't release is one album to me. Shout out DJ Skin. I hate that he's gone because, like, obviously it's been more time has passed where I can't, like, relevantly bring them up to people that I know who aren't as tapped in or was tapped in before. They just don't know. Yeah. They just don't know. But special. Probably would have been, like, Michael Jackson good, to be bro, honest. Bro, yeah. for real. Same with uh, Pop Smoke, too, bro. Mm -hmm. Like It's a shame. It's always, like, the ones that are going to be that good, like X. X it's always dude. the one that are going to yeah. be that good. Did you like him? Did you like X? Of course, bro. Yeah. I was into like the whole X and Ski Mask wave when mm -hmm. that was a thing, you know? That was my high school. That's it's your high school. It's our high school, it's yeah. Geez, <laughs> it's literally weird. I'm not used to you being... The same age? No, yeah, really. but props to you, man. You're doing your thing if you're this young doing this type of shit. Like, bro, I mean, uh, I can say the same for you. Yeah, where's your interview? Where's my interview? I don't know. I'm waiting. I'm Damn. waiting until Jimmy Fallon hits me up, bro. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get on Jimmy Fallon, you know? Well, get ready. If you're on Fallon, it ain't going to be the same. He going to be... Yeah? He going to be real. He's hella cool. You met Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, I met mean, I mean, him. Uh, I do like a skit for mm. the draft. I was on there. I'm, I was always more of a Jimmy Kimmel guy, but... Yeah. You watch enough of him, you kind of feel it. Yeah. You know? I mean, bro, you mentioned um, Die Lit in your top five. I, uh, I think, like, Whole Lot of Red is his best album, right? But if I asked you if you could rank, like, Cardi's three albums, like, how would you, how would you rank it? I mean, a uh, <laughs> whole, whole lot of red. Whole lot of red. <laughs> it was a long summer of listening to a whole lot of red. Wait, in a in a bad way or a good Great way? Great way. Oh, okay, good. If I had to rank them, I'm honestly probably Dilate and Whole Lot of Red right here. Not I can't really put level? one over because okay. I'm chilling. If I'm listening to Dilate, I'm chilling. Okay. And it's a great. It's great. I can play that around whatever, to whoever you know. Mm. Whole lot of red. Like, I need to be. In, in a mode. Like, I, just, I listen to a whole lot of Red, like, driving to the game sometimes if I'm mm. really trying to go to the moon with it. What song? Probably On That Time. Mm. Stop yeah. Breathing. Stop Breathing, yeah. Die For yeah. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Not Playing is like a, a is coming home. Mm, if you win. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Feel Like Dying If You Lose. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, Go To The Moon. Just to... But, like, I'm telling you, I remember... So, it came out on Christmas. Yeah. And, uh... I was at my teammate Brandon Clark's house. Mm. We love Cardi. So yeah. we already knew it was coming out, knew the leaks, new tank leak was already out, we've been knew it. And we were not ready for what it was. So we played it first time and we sat there in silence for like two minutes. And we're like, yo, what just happened? Like, yeah, I think we just got, I, I think we just got introduced to the new wave of what it was about to be. Mm. So then I just kind of force fed it after that. I just played it over and over and over again. Yeah. And then eventually, I realized, like, not only is this thing good, but it's, like, amazing. Bro. What do you think about, like, uh, like Yeet, for example? I know, I bet you listen to Yeet, too. I see what he's, I mean, first of all, whoever is his marketing team, it might just be him. I, I love like that Zach, side of it. I think it's, it. like, Zach B is helping a lot. Oh, of Zach, too. yeah, yeah, he's his sign to Zach Genius, B. yeah. I love that side of music, too, like, A&Ring and, like, uh, yeah. that's really kind of what I want to do when, like, later I want to, like, a and artists and, like, kind of like do rollouts and like I love mm. studying what that is and how things work. But you can kind of be your own a because you make your own music. Like one thing I have to commend you about your music is that like 
It would suck if I had to lie to you and be like, yo, bro, it's good. But it's actually good. Because it doesn't sound like your typical, like, NBA player tries to rap. Which, there, there's a lot of good NBA rap. Miles Bridges, hard, bro. Dame Lillard, hard. But, like, <laughs> your, your, your shit sounds, like, new and fresh, you know? Yeah. So, like. It's a different lane, yeah. You would love, like, the vibe of this house, how it really is, is crazy. Like, it's a, it's like a factory. Yeah. There'll be people here. My boy would just bring his speakers and just cook up a beat right there. Yeah. And we'd just be laying on the couch, and then, like, if I like and we hear it, I'm like, yo, load it up, we go right upstairs. Mm. Just run upstairs, go right in the booth, load it up. But what made you want to actually do music, though? Because I don't even know how you get the time to do all this shit, you know? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, I've been rapping f probably just as long as I was listening to music. Mm. Just, like, freestyling, just with my friends. So Miles was my roommate mm -hmm. in college. So we rap every day. We come back from practice, we rap every day. Mm. Like we just get home, turn on speaker, music, food, chilling, TV, rap. Mm -hmm. And then I realized it wasn't just about like rapping. It was more just about like creating and sounds and what you want to hear. And I know what you're talking about. So here's what you're talking about. <clears throat> you're talking about like prove me rap. Okay. Prove me rap. That's what I call it. Okay. And it's like rap, but it's like, it's like the trap Eminem fell into. Yes. It's like how, like, you're making a song, and Eminem's a goat, right? Yeah. Amazing. But now he, he be rapping as if, like, we need to know that. Right. Like. We know that. We know that. <laughs> he's rapping yeah. as if, like, he's in a race or something. Like, mm. I get it. It's dope. You're hard, but it's, like, I need to listen to it as well. Mm. So I just always said I was going to make something I want to listen to. I don't yeah. need to make something that I need to give to a label and be like hey I can, mm. I can rap i have the ability to rap like how'd you get the name uh trip j i thought like honestly jaron would just be kind of hard too yeah but uh jaron jackson jr three j's triple j trip i didn't even think of that bro yeah it just like flew j. over my head it's really just trip though trip everybody called me trip mm. so I mean, damn, bro. I feel like I asked you so much about music. I could go on and on and on with you, you know, about music. Yeah, like, I mean, you're tapped in. Like, you know, it's a different conversation. You know, yeah. it's like, uh, like you actually know what's going on. So, yeah. um, credit to you. Nah, <laughs> chill. This is fun. I mean, like, well, well tell me kind of where you grew up, bro, because uh, I don't know whether it was New Jersey or whether it was Indiana. Like, uh, yeah. tell me about that, because I'm from Canada and I've never Mo been. To I love Canada, by the way. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. awesome. Sick. Yeah, I'll be out there sometimes for sure. Shout out my boy, uh, Dylan Brooks. Uh, I was born in Plainfield, New Jersey. Lived okay. there like a second. And then I would live in San Antonio because my dad played on the Spurs. Yeah. So that was like, I was knee high, so I don't remember none of that. Mm. Then we moved to Virginia. Don't even remember why. I think my mom was teaching out there. Moved to Maryland. Mm. And then I left and went to Indiana. And that's like, I was always hooping, but I really like started for hooping like real, real well, like in Indiana. Mm. Man, yeah. And I mean, bro, I, um, so I hate being in college a lot because I'm still in school right now while I do this. And um, to me, I was wondering like how, uh, yeah, I know. How, how was your time at college like as a basketball player, but also studying? Like I always wondered, like what classes do you even take while you're playing basketball? Yeah, I mean, people just think we don't study. Uh -huh. People just think we nothing happens. I was in communications. Bro, I'm in communications too. Yeah. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. Communications for you guys in the States and for us is different. Like, I don't even, like, bro, what is communications? It's communications, bro. Communicating. And? Learning how to, what do you want it to be? I don't know, I thought like, I joined you it You got some be, big dreams. Nah, bro, I, I joined it to be in like journalism, but how was it like at, at you know, your school? Well, I mean, I had like stock classes though, cause I only got six months. Oh, six months, okay. Yeah, so I, I, I had like, there were some other classes, like I'm pretty sure. You I don't even know. I can't right. remember off the yeah. top, but then I left. Yeah. So it's probably harder for you. I've heard from my friends that it got hard for sure. And I can see that like papers got longer and- 10 page teachers, essays. Yeah, like, I don't know. I totally could do it. Like I totally could, but you know, God didn't, um, you had some uh, some other plans, you know. <laughs> How was it? Bro, I'm curious because you're like your dad was in the NBA, right? That must have been the most amazing feeling for you to get drafted, and then your dad seeing that, no? Yeah, for him or for me? For both of you, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. him for obviously, sure. you know. Yeah, him. He's bro. He was crying. 
Wow. I'm like, dude, I'm looking at my dad like, this all turned out like you, like you probably hoped, huh? Like, yeah. had a kid, had a boy. Hope probably was like, man, I hope you go league. Went league. Yeah. So, but we're, I mean, sober blessed. Like, that's a one in a million chance. I had my teachers tell me yeah. that that was no way. I had teachers, like, I wrote, like, on paper, like, I wanted to do that. And they told me, like, there's no way, bro. That actually happened to you? Multiple times. They'd be like, yo, dude, you got to pick something else. This is. What? And they'd break it down. I remember a teacher broke it down in front of everybody. My drama teacher. Yeah. My drama teacher broke it down in front of everybody. He was like, yo, yeah. think of all the chances. It was like a one in a million. And then he was like, one in this and one in, I'm like, bruh. I lowered my dreams. I remember I lowered it like to mm. something reasonable. And I was always thinking if I don't make it, I'm gonna just be a lawyer like my mom. Mm. But uh, no, nah, thank God, man. man yeah, man. bro, congrats, man. That's yeah. a, it's an inspiring ass story. And uh, like I said, your dad must be really happy. But bro, <laughs> I used to think like growing up, there's like two perfect jobs in the world, right? One being an NBA player and two being a YouTuber, right? I obviously quickly, Ooh. yeah. I quickly realized that the YouTuber is not is not a perfect job. Nah, but, no, sir. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, being in the NBA though, I'm curious. Like, you know, what's something that you think that like you know younger people don't see that you had to kind of endure growing up to become that? Because the dedication, bro, like eating right, training every single day for practice, like I don't know what's the shit that like people just don't get to see. I'll say like the eating right stuff really comes now. Oh, if that you was get to back then. I mean, it wasn't when I was like eight, mm -hmm. but you can expect to like be left out of a ton of stuff. Like every weekend you're going to have a tournament pretty much for your whole entire life until you're about 18. Mm -hmm. So you probably get two weeks off a year mm -hmm. until then. And then you're going to college. So if you have basketball and there's prom, weigh your options, you know, yeah. if there's a dance, if there's a sleepover growing up, if there's a party. Mm. If there's a party after your game, if there's something like just know the give and take of everything. Know like what your everything is time. You're sacrificing time for everything. All that time built up was necessary to get me here, but I didn't even know it. But I mean, for the kids, I hope they know it. You know. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of uh, of them don't. You know, and uh, the diet is the hardest part, bro. Because like, <laughs> bro, I could either go to the NBA or I could eat Chipotle. You know. I eat Chipotle, bro. You still eat Chipotle? Yeah, it bangs. But Chipotle's kind of actually kind of healthy if you think about it. It bangs. It's yeah, crazy. no, it bangs. It bangs. But yeah, I mean, I'm letting you know though, bro. Like, if there was an actual hoop here, there I is. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, if okay, if we were to play one on one, right, it would be over. Like, obviously, you'd destroy me. <laughs> if if we did a, a mid range contest, like let's say like out of five shots, I'd. I'm just saying, there's a chance I'd beat you. You know what, man? I don't take that many middies. Yeah. Year to year. No. I take threes. I take a lot of layups and dunks. Why not many minis? I'm actually curious because I follow this page called uh, Ball Don't Stop. I don't know mm -hmm. if you know what that is. And um, he talks a lot about how analytics kind of ruin, like, basketball today. and like people... Steph Curry ruined basketball, but yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, him too. But, uh, you know, he's like, people don't take that many mid-range shots because uh, it's, like, not analytically, like, the best shot. It's just like it, people think threes and getting more attempts up. It's kind of like this... The Mike D'Antoni method, the mm. coach who, you know what that is? Yeah, All like right, the bro. like the Steve Nash. Yeah, uh, yeah bro. I know okay. my history. Bro. Okay, I was about to just throw that in there and keep going, but he uh, that's like how kind of where it came from. But honestly, in the playoffs and like when it really comes down to it, if like a great team, like they're shooting middies, like Kawhi mm. Leonard, Middy, Katie, Devin Booker, Middy, D Book. I mean, Bron even Bron always has that Middy when it's playoff time. And he's fading in the post game. Yeah, Kobe, you know, Middy. Course. So you got to have that in your game. And like, yeah. I'm definitely trying to add that. Like every day I work on that. That's something I work on like every single day. Really? Just so eventually it's going to be up to par where I can pull it out. And that if I had in my game, like an icy, icy midi, yeah. apparently, apparently you have, mm. then, you know, I can, I can turn it up a little. I'm here for another day, man. I'm like, I can always help. Um, I'm always around, you know? Dude, this it's whatever, man. I'm, I'm, it's right. The hoop is right. Oh, that's there. the one? No, it's back there. Okay, it's like okay. down the path. Okay, okay. But I mean, you start here, right here. No, I mean, you could start here, but I could, I could go there. You know? I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I, I am pretty nice, though. But, bro, you, uh, you have a really strong case to be a uh, defensive player of the year this year. Um, but I'm curious, like, when you were coming into the league, is that something that you were, like, striving for? Like, you want to be the best defender in the league? I think I was striving. I was striving for everything. I was always blocking shots, so I just want to be active and, 
you know, that led me to be in the conversation for that. So mm. I, I don't know if it was a goal. It's a goal now, for sure. You know, when you get in range of a goal, when you see it's possible. Dude, someone who plays consistent defense throughout the entire game, sh is, dude, that's really important. Because yeah. even like if I'm at the rec, I just can't play defense, bro. It's the, it's the hardest thing. But, but my question to you is, do you feel like defense is, is more so about like effort or, or skill? Because I've, I've watched hella interviews and I've seen like people say both sides. I think if you haven't been doing, if you haven't been playing defense well your whole life, then probably a little bit of school. It's definitely effort, for sure. A lot of it's just will. Mm. Like, do you think it's worth it? Because you're not going to, it's not going to work every time. Like, especially in my league, like, I'm playing against great players. It's not just about getting a stop. It's just making it difficult. Mm -hmm. Like, you just want to work, like, make somebody work. And if somebody's going to score, you just want them to have worked hard so mm -hmm. then they're tired. Mm. It's like little goals. Like people are gonna score points. Teams score 120 points a game. Yeah. But like, we just played a team who scored 120 points on us with two players who scored over 30, and we won the game. Right. Because we made them tired. We made them have to work for all that. You gotta study like the people who did it before you and the people that are good in the league. So like, you know, great defenders in the league. Like Draymond Green's a great defender. Hell yeah. I study him and I listen to him talk. Like I even listen to his podcast just to hear what he has to say about certain stuff just to know little things because every little bit helps at this point no nah, i mean I, I feel that but you guarded like some of the best players in the nba right yeah obviously i i had to ask you i'm just like a, a fan of basketball <clears throat> so who was like who would you say was like the top two toughest people for you to guard and probably like probably like anthony davis anthony davis really mm. good Jokic. Mm. yeah Jokic for sure Jokic as in, you know, because you don't know what he's going to do or as in like... Because he's, he's bringing the ball up and he's a seven-foot point guard and he's yeah. coming down and he's diming people and then, at the, and then he shoots at the top of... He shoots the ball up here so you can't block it. You have no chance. Right. So you just have to make it hard. Mm. And he's cash. And at the end of the day, he's huge. Mm. And he's slow. So being slow is actually an advantage now. How so? Because like... If you're slow and you know how to use your body, like everyone's fast. Mm -hmm. So like, what is you trying to beat me? Like, and, like you're not gonna use that to your advantage with me. You're gonna use your body and how slow you are. So when you make a move and you make it methodically and you shoot the ball over me and you know I can't block it, you're no longer concerned about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You're just concerned about getting to a certain spot on the floor so you can turn around and shoot it because you know I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, the slowest player is Luka Doncic slow. That's true as well. And he's crazy, right? Yeah. Bro, you guys are, are doing amazing this season, um, especially compared to like last season that like progressively just got better, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like there's a, there's a lot of teams in the NBA that will, you know, stack up and get like three superstars, but you guys as a team play so well. And I'm just curious, like, what do you think kind of propelled you guys from last year to being where you guys are right now? We didn't really change our roster that much. So everybody just added something and you see major improvements on everybody mm -hmm. and um plus we hang out that's like a big deal oh yeah if you're on a team you probably should hang out y'all should hang out with each other advice for whoever needs it but like it helps like mm -hmm. i'm telling you i watch teams out there play against us and dudes would be like dudes would be like yo yo come on bro like come on you say to somebody, but like, if I say that to you and we don't, we're not cool and we don't hang out, then the, I'd probably take it more personal. Me and Dylan are out there, and I remember this happened the other day, like, we were talking about a rotation in the game and they scored on us, and he's like, yo, JJ, you got what the fuck, was right here, like, and I'm like, no, it's not me, bro. And we just kept playing, and like, it seems like that would bubble over, right? Yes. That would bubble up. No, hell no. Mm. It would not bubble over, because I know him. Mm. I know him. I know we're, we're trying to win that bad. Mm. It's going to come out. It's emotion. That's what's up, man. I hope you guys uh, stay together then, like the entire group. Um, Dude, me too. Yeah. It must be cool because, like, I'm sure when you... Yeah. Hell yeah. No, when you, when you play basketball in, in high school with your with your friends, it's, like, so much fun rather than going to the rack and playing with, like, randoms, right? Mm hmm So, like... Ah, that's fun too, though. It's fun, but not when, like, they don't understand your play style, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. if they, like, get mad when you shoot, it's like, bro, you know I'm going to shoot, you know? Like... Yeah, like people get mad at the wreck is different. I'm like playing with some old dude who's probably grumpy as hell, like yeah. divorced and shit. 
Facts, bro. You, you never know, know what's going on, man. He's going through it. Yo, and he's taking it out on you because you took he's a shot. It's like, bro. It. I'm just like, man, please. <laughs> Shit is not cool, bro. But what's your relationship like with Ja, man? You guys seem like really tight. Yeah, 12, I mean, that's my brother. He, uh, he's come a long way. I think I, I think I was a fan of him first. You know, when I saw him in the tournament play, I was like, damn, this kid, this dude's elite. Like, he understands mm. the game. He loves the game. Are you seeing, like, the, the Ja Morant versus Derrick Rose comparisons online? Oh, well, I mean, I, I can get that. Explosive guards. Mm. Ja's probably better, though, right? Chill, bro. Derrick Rose is my idol, bro. Tough. It I mean, he's obviously. elite. He's, yeah. he's OD, but, like, you know, yeah. tough, man. Respect to both. Respect to both. Ja's probably doing, like, a year career's worth of highlights in a game. Like, obviously, like, there's things that Derrick Rose was doing that's crazy, right? Like, mm. But, man, remember... Jaws are our age too. So. He's 22? Hey, but Derrick Rose won the MVP at, uh, but the season isn't over yet either. So I can't speak. I can't speak yet. But who, who was your idol when you came into the league and did you get to like verse them? KD, for sure. Mm. I was a KD fan. Yeah. Always. Like, okay. I was a big Thunder fan. That was me though. Like mm. Westbrook, James Harden, Ibaka, Steven Adams is on my team now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. So, yeah. like him, Kevin Martin. I can name everything. Mm. KD, uh, Braun, mm. KG. I didn't get to verse him, but he trained me one time. Really? So, I got to learn from him a little bit. I don't know. On some, like, fan shit, I used to, like, like random players, like, just, like, Brandon Jennings. and Brandon Jennings is cold, Young. bro. I used to, like, Nick Young. Nick Young and, is cold, uh, too. Yeah, but, like, it's, like, super random. Like, no one's, like, no one's... Both Hoopers. Yeah. But I just love the game, so I'm everywhere with it. Like, I'll just be knowing weird shit. Gotcha. Well, hey, bro, honestly, this was so much fun. Like, this is low-key more fun than doing, like, the rapper interviews. Cause, why? Why? Because there's just, I am like... a rapper. But it's, like, you do both. You know, it's, like, I love basketball so much, and I love rap. But it goes together. It goes it goes right together, and I've never got. I didn't get a chance to do too much basketball stuff, but you're here tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna be. I could be here tomorrow. Yeah. Dude, go to the game. You should go to I the game, to, bro. I love to go to the game. You should go to the game, bro. It'll be lit. Trust me, you have a good time, bro. We play straight young boy in warmups. I mean, if you could take me to the game, I'd love to go to the game. Yeah, bro. I got you. He's going to the game. Okay. Well, well, since I'm going to the game, I gotta um. I got to get you right for the game, too, you know? Okay. I know there's, like, a tunnel you walk through, you know? Mm, drip. Yeah. You can't be wearing that. So, um, <laughs> hold on. Let me, let me just uh, let me get oh something my. for you real quick. Now this. Here you go. Now this is what you Oh, I got to take KTO hoodie. And it's unreleased? Uh, you have it on. Yeah, exactly, because only oh, okay, I have it. Okay, okay. Only, okay. only me and you have this now. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Let's go. That's I, hard. Thank yeah. you. But bro, I appreciate it so much. That and was it's crazy. Like, all right, so like you're doing this interview right now, mm -hmm. but in reality, like we watch your interviews on TV, and the TV's right there. So it's like you're out here, but you were just in there. That's fucking wild. Yeah. You know? I can't, I can't express uh, just how happy I am about that, bro, so I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Appreciate You're doing it. your thing. Sick Young interview. guy. You got to drop at least at least 30 for me. Oh, wow. Okay, well, okay. we're going to the game first. Let's, we'll start there. Hell yeah. And then we're just going right. to get this dub. All you right. know what I mean? This is Jaron Jackson watching KTO. Yeah. Yo, guys, thanks for watching that Jaron Jackson Jr. interview. If you don't already know, you know, we do mostly cover music, but... Ever since I started my journalism career at the end of high school, you know, my dream was always I want to venture off into the NBA and have that be a part of my brand, right? And I really genuinely feel like this was the start of that. And it's going to, like, it's about to get crazy, I feel like, if I really put my mind to it. Um, so because of that, I'm going to make a whole vlog uh, about that day that I interviewed Jaron. And it's, it's going to be wild. And I'm going to put that out in like three, four days. So you got to stay tuned for that. Uh, the hoodie I gave to Jaren. You already know it's going to come out soon, too. And yeah, man, this is a sick interview, man. I'll catch you guys next video.